I, uh, I wasn't planning on shooting this early in the morning, but an Ibex in a city, well, I'll admit, I don't see that very often. Anyway, this is the, uh, this is Mitzpah Ramon in the heart of Israel's Negev Desert. And uh, while we're seeing this creature out of its element, or at least hoofing along on the pavement, ideally we'll see one or two of these fellows' relatives as we enter the crater of Mitzbeh Ramon. Look at those horns. Oh, by the way, this guy's an ibex. Good morning from the Ramon Crater in Mitzbeh Ramon, Israel. Hi, I'm Matt, and this is another edition of Borders on Budgets. Today we go deep into the crater, the largest of its kind in the world. Okay, we're done. Can I go back to bed now? Those gentlemen hanging precipitously on the ledge should give an indication as to how large the Ramon Crater is. It is the largest of its kind in the world, measuring 40 kilometers in length and about 5 to 10 kilometers in width, so we're looking at around 2 to 300 square kilometers. One ibex, two ibex, ibises. I didn't think feeding ibex processed white bread would actually be good for their health. Another tragic case of ibises gone wild rummaging through the local garbage. The Israel National Trail will be the route in which I will descend from Mitzbeh Ramon into the crater. Now the, sh the shviel, the trail itself, has two different routes. One the long way and the other the short way beside the highway. It's 11 o'clock. I've had two coffees already. I think I will take the long route. I'm surprised a late morning shot of the Ramon crater has greater texture and depth and richness in colors than the early morning picture had. However, better late than never, that is the Ramon crater, 40 kilometers north to south. This shot will test the capabilities of the zoom-in feature of this camera. That bicycle, trashed in the crater, is about a hundred meters down. Leaving the town of Mitzvah Ramon in the Israeli Negev Desert, the, the Israel National Trail descends into the Ramon Crater. The trail is marked by the orange, white, and blue stripes. In the background, a training session by the Israeli Defense Forces. I, uh, I would have thought this herd of IBCs would have been smart enough to stay out of the heat. However, I suppose given the landscape, there ain't much place to find shade. This plant must be hearty. New growth, freshly green, almost lush. Even if there was a lot of rain over the past winter, to think of how it has to survive in these conditions, man, that's, uh, that's tough. Good on it. Okay, we've just left the plant, and as I was putting on my backpack to continue the hike, I see this, uh, this creature, uh, a snail in the middle of the crater. I can't imagine how it got here, when it got here, and under what conditions it would have survived. But man, a snail in the crater? I, uh, I didn't think it would be this challenging to go through 
this little section of the Israel National Trail. And uh, considering I did take off my backpack to make it easier, however, a little treacherous than, uh, than I anticipated. It should be noted that the Ramon Crater, the largest of its kind in the world, did not actually come from any sort of volcano eruption or meteor hit. When they say of its kind, I don't quite know what of its kind means. However, it means with steep walls and a closed valley. Conveniently, without having to get up from the last shot, I suppose this is what they mean by steep walls. This is the proverbial rock bottom of Ramon Crater, the valley, the closed valley. It used to be that the water would run through here. However, the wadi, as a valley is known in Arabic, it's pretty dry. When I do the editing of this video, I'm going to find out what in fact the purple in the rocks constitutes. Well, as I wash up, it is lunchtime, and this spot uh, is as comfortable as it appears. What's, uh, what's for lunch? Uh, sardines in olive oil. Way up there is where we started the hike today into the Ramon Crater. There's an example of the steep walls. Our descent has taken us about a half a kilometer into the crater. There's a shortcut to get back to Mitzbe Ramon. Instead, however, we're going to continue eastward into the crater, the desert, and we're going to finish up somewhere out there. I wouldn't have thought that a mini mountain of all black rocks would break up the color scheme of the landscape, but it certainly has. On the map that I received for the Israel National Trail, it says Acacia. And sure enough, that is an Acacia tree. From here, we're going to sign off on today's episode of Borders on Budgets. It's been an absolutely fantastic hike through the Ramon Crater in Mitzbe Ramon, Israel. So a reminder, Borders on Budgets, long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you on our next episode. I don't think I'll have any trouble finding a place for my tent tonight.